Hi guys, welcome to another Pit Stop Hair video. Today I'm looking at persistent objects. Now these are objects which stay in the game when the server restarts. So all these items you can see here in this room in the storage area, lots of them have just been left in this room and stuff has been respawned. Now some of it may well be stuff that people have dropped and, and they stay as well. So you get this mix of items and what you're seeing is we're getting more litter, more uh, in the game. So uh, there's a good chance you're going to be able to find something that um, you're looking for, especially in areas like this, where originally there are lots of spawning items, and in amongst all these items you may well find some little treasures, and already I have spotted some uh, ammo down there underneath the table. So uh, that's a great find and things that maybe people will miss, maybe items underneath other items. So you're gonna find more. Now this is the next one, room along. It's that similar to the uh, kind of storage and admin building for this area. And this is just above Novo in the uh, garage workshop uh, park. And you can see here there's tons of objects. It just litter everywhere, items everywhere. Especially as the server gets older, and um, you can see things just dropped, discarded. Um, so you're more likely to find stuff that you need, especially if high-end guys are searching out for particular items. Um, they may well drop something, which for them isn't you know, that important, but for you it might well be a really handy item. We're also going to find more stashes of loot. Um, this is a really interesting situation um, in here. Uh, there's tons of stuff. Maybe people have dropped stuff. It looks like they may well have done, but also because a few items spawn here, they've built up. You can see there in this um, little um, stall, there's the new handgun. And uh, I'm going to try and take that, but it doesn't look like it's letting me. Uh, I suspect. And the server is restarting, which gives good opportunity to see what happens if I come back in to the server after the restart. And here, we, here I am, back in the same room. Uh, the gun I tried to pick up, it what didn't pick up. And it looks like there, there is a very similar number of items in that location. So, um, it still doesn't seem to want to let me do it. But this uh, item does go into my backpack. It's actually disappeared from the shelf. That's probably because the service just started. Um, so, the items have carried over to the next, um, uh, to the next uh, restart, which is great. So all these items are building up. People, items everywhere. You better find stuff you need potentially. But there is a lot of tat. So, um, dropped items are no longer an indication that someone is necessarily nearby. All right. So think about it. Back when servers restarted and reset everything. If you came into a server and there was a dropped item, you're pretty sure that someone was close to you or had gone through that section pretty recently. But now that's not necessarily an indication um, because the items are staying in their locations. And you can see here we've got five torches. So when were they all dropped? Who, who knows? I mean, they may have been there for hours. So it's difficult to know if there's someone around. But you can tell the history of a place. You can see the events that maybe lots of fresh spawns have been to this location. Um, um, and if you go to areas where uh, you potentially know someone might die, or someone jump is jumping off, you'll find persistent items. So here, this is a backpack someone's just dropped before they maybe have jumped off this building. Maybe they were shot. Um, so locations where people are sniped and then the items aren't necessarily then picked up. So the tops of buildings where snipers haven't gone on. Um, especially seeing you throw your weapons down now through the ragdoll system. So they may well be lying around in different places where people have um, previously died. So that's definitely worth having a think about. Um, and what that also does is emphasises that we don't necessarily have the fear anymore of items being lost at a reset and so many people lose items that way, they put something down, suddenly the server resets, 
nothing much you can do about it. So that's another really that's quite a positive thing about what what's happening with this persistent items, um, and that also means that potentially people will be more confident about uh, running events. You can see here in this room, it's completely covered in litter. I've just seen three long range scopes all ruined. Okay, so this is what you're going to find areas like this where um, there's been conflicts. So that, as I was saying, the history of the space. And uh, that someone's just spawned in. It's just, it's just too dangerous. So, I mean, that's a really stupid place to spawn in. But you can see here, people are, are conscious of the fact that if they get into these locations, they may well find guns. There's guns lying around here, there's melee weapons. There's the history of the location, which you can utilize you know, and take advantage of. It's a really cool thing about persistent objects. Completely changes the game. So it will also mean that people will stash stuff down. And of course they're introducing tents. And um, there's a very good chance that uh, people will, will seize locations, maybe out in the wilderness, and use that to their advantage. And um, I think that there'll be potentially more of a community attempt to um, protect particular locations. In turn, that may well open up the map and people may be moving into different areas, um, maybe thinking about how they can defend areas, especially if they're putting tents down, um, which, is, which is cool. And, you know, you'll also find that fresh spawns are more heavily armed because they can get hold of weapons more easily if they come to these locations, even if it is quite dangerous. So that's my kind of overview of persistent objects, guys. I hope this has opened up some thoughts for you. Um, if you haven't had them already, give me your feedback down below in the comments section. I'm really interested to hear what you've got to think about this. I think they're great, but it's definitely going to change the game Daisy standalone immensely. I mean, it really is a, a change and um, I think a positive one and certainly one that's going to increase um, gameplay and uh, bring up all sorts of new scenarios. So thanks for watching, guys.